Hello, and in this video, we're going to be creating the screw slide block for our Trammel toy. Uh, to do this, we'll start by making this bottom base component to it, uh, and then we'll add in the upper portion and then insert this hole with a hexagon portion at the bottom of that hole. Uh, so I've already started my uh, project in uh, Onshape, and we got it set up, and I'm going to start a sketch. Uh, I'm going to do the sketch on the front, so I'll change to my front view. Uh, so I'm starting on the bottom, so I'm going to look at this bottom portion, and I'm going to see it's 0.355 tall and 1.75 long. Uh, so I'm just going to do a rectangle, I'll start at the origin, I'll click 1.75 long, and then 0.355 tall. Uh, I'll finish my sketch, I'll change my view so we can see when we extrude it. I'll click extrude, click inside my shape, and we'll look back and see how far we need to extrude it. So if we look at the depth, we can see it goes out 0.734. So we'll set that as 0.734 for our depth. Hit the green check to accept. And we got our base. Uh, if we look at it, if we come over and look at it, you can see it's uh, rounded on. It's uh, got this chafer on each of the four edges. And it shows us that's 0.125. So we'll set that up in on shape now. So we'll hit the chafer tool. Select those four edges, one, two, three, and then I'll turn my shape to get the fourth one, and four. And we want to set that value to 0.125 and hit enter. I'll uh, hit our green check to accept, and that gives us that overall bottom base shape we want. Uh, next, we'll add on the upper portion, and I'll do that by doing a sketch, and I'll go right on top of my shape and turn to the top view. Uh, if we look back at our drawing, we can see that it's a uh, rectangle that goes all the way across from one side to the other, and it's 0 0.141 from either edge. Uh, so we'll create that rectangle now. So I'll do a two-point. I'll start. I'm going to zoom in. You can see I'm not starting on the corner. I'm just starting on my object, and I come over to the far side and click on the far side. Then I just have to dimension how far each one is from the edge. So on the top, point, point. 141 from the edge, same thing on the bottom. I could do an equal, but I'm just going to, since I'm already in dimension, I'm just going to dimension 0.141 from the edge. Uh, so now you can see it's fully constrained. I can hit my green check to accept, change my view to see it, and extrude it, click inside, and we need to see how far up it goes. Uh, it doesn't tell us directly on here, so it's 0.844 and 0.355, so we have to subtract it. You can either type it out and do it yourself, or you can let Onshape do the work for you. So we can type 0 0.844 minus that 0 0.355, and it does the work for us. It calculates what that value should be, and it creates that shape for us. Again, it's got those chamfers on the edges, and we'll add those the same way we did last time. Click the tool. Hit our four edges. I'm going to zoom in to make sure I get the right edge. Get those four edges. And then we'll change the value to 0.125. Set the value, 0.125. And that gives us that top edge. Uh, so now we have to add it in our holes. So if we look from the top down, you can see it's a circle hole all the way through with a diameter of 0.177. So I'll go back to on shape. Right now, I don't have a point there, so I'm going to actually put a sketch on the top to give me that point. So I'm going to go on top, create a sketch, and I'm just going to add a couple construction lines. So I do a line, construction, and it's right in the middle. And so I'm going to go from midpoint to midpoint, and then I'm going to do the same thing with another one. Line, construction, and go from midpoint to the opposite midpoint. I'm going to place it, and then I have that center point located now. Uh, so now I can finish the sketch and I can select my hole tool uh, to get that point to appear. I have to hit down here on select make connectors and that lets that hole in the middle connect. So then I can click in the middle. I want a simple hole all the way through and a value of 0.177 for the diameter. Uh, once you have those set, you hit your green check, and it puts that hole through our object. You can see that hole goes all the way through the object. Uh, finally, we need this hexagon on the bottom. It shows up on the bottom view. Uh, so I'm going to add that hexagon down on the bottom. So again, I'm going to go back to my shape. I'm going to turn to the bottom this time. 
I'm going to start a sketch and click on the bottom and I'll be on my bottom view. I'm going to add a uh, inscribed polygon. I'm going to zoom in so we can see a little better. I want to start, you can see it gives me that constraint. I want to start at the center of my circle and make it come out. So I'm going to click to place it. I want six sides for a hexagon and then I need to dimension it. So it's from one corner to a, co a next corner skipping over one has a distance of if we look back of 0.386 so I'm going to type in 0.386 uh, then if we look at how it's lined up you can see the outside is parallel to the outside of my object so I'm going to add that constraint so I hit my parallel constraint click one of my sides to the hexagon and the outside edge to my object doesn't matter what edge you pick, since it's a regular polygon, any side should work out for you. Uh, you can see it's fully constrained now, so I can hit my black check to accept. Uh, and then all I need to do is extrude, remove, and click inside that shape to remove it. And we want to see how far it goes, and it tells us, it tells us it's 0.255. So we'll go back and change our depth to 0.255. Hit enter, hit your green check to accept and you've finished making your screw slide block. Uh, so hopefully this helps you to make the screw slide block to use in your trammel toy. Again, if you need to change the appearance, you want to change the color, change the material to something like BOA, you can go ahead and do that right in here. Uh, hopefully this helps you to create your screw, screw slide block. Good luck.